Yahweh Shah did not support the ideology of the Sakari. You can't say on one hand, I'm a zealot and I support, you know, I'm walking in the stead of the anxious zealots, but then you you boast in Yahweh Shah. So that, what you see happening is Yahweh Shah is putting on the forefront, okay, well, well, if you claim to be my follower, all right, then there's a particular order you're going to have to come in, and these men aren't willing to do that. You know, all right, the scriptures say you have to follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, all right, and that's the volume of the book, okay? So now, you mean to tell me you're going to go into Jacob's trouble, all right, with doubt about which books of the Bible are the word of God? All right, and, 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 and saying that the Bible is against the Bible in, in one uh, place. This man is not speaking in the spirit in this place. He is speaking in the spirit in that place. This book ain't good. And then you're at camp with the whole book. So what is that? Confusion. And what does confusion mean? With mixing. So above all of any point that we can make, any argument, any debate, what do you believe? All right? Let's get a quick scripture. Then we'll go to this uh, comment because this is what it all boils down to for you, you all who are listening and watching these things. What do you believe? What are you rooted in? Because I tell you this, if you're going to go into Jacob's trouble with doubt about which books are the word of God and where in the hell are all of you other leaders to, to step in and, and, and at least take up for the Bible it has nothing to do with great millstone. Because Great Millstone can't save you, Sakari can't save you, HOI, I, no, no man can save you. But, 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 damn, we have to defend the gospel, man. This is Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Let's get the book of 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. I want to make a quick point here, too. All right. 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, in the 58th verse. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable. Okay, right now you're being tempted by these men to be movable in the doctrine. In what's written in this book and what we've received in these latter days directly through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This book was not put together by men. It was put together by the Heavenly Father who moved men through the spirit to write these things. And he knew exactly what to give us and what not to give us in these latter days in the form of the Bible. Right? Now, if you doubt, okay, you're going to be damned. He that doubted is damned. So you have to really take into consideration what these men are now teaching. Anything that cuts them, you know, that they've just moved to, it's just not the spirit of the, it's just not the, the word of the Lord. That's not the word of the Lord. Anything that cuts them. You can't disagree with them because, you know, they're, you know, so these are things that you really have to take into consideration going down the line uh, because you will be held accountable. You know, you got these men teaching that the, the, the book, the Songs of Solomon is references a woman, you know, giving oral sex and swallowing semen. OK, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's they're, 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 they're waxing worse and worse. All right. The, uh, the whole Passover ordeal, which they, they, they so say repentant. Okay, but that alone, these, these are things that you should be really taking in consideration above your flesh and who you like the most. You need to be w walking and operating in the spirit. So you're supposed to be unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Right? So now, going to this uh, comment, this brother, Gabar. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. All right. Damn, yo, my two favorite camps going at it. The two most powerful camps in Israel. What the fuck? Now, the Apostle Gabar replied here. 
it ain't entertainment, dude. Because a lot of you guys are here for entertainment. Now, I'm not saying this particular brother is. Okay? It's not entertainment, dude. Now you got to pick a side so you can grow in this thing. He quotes Malachi 3 and 18. Then shall you return and discern between the, the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. And these men are making these very, very bold statements. Okay, like you have ISUPK. John the Baptist is not in the truth. He fell out of the truth. Like these men are making these bold statements and people still follow them. Okay? And then they want to jump to rape and try to, you know, uh, throw out the sensationalism, all right, to, you know, to, to help their case. But let's take a look at what these men are saying. This is the question, bro. You, Gabar Ya'ala, Yashala, is the book of Hebrews the word of God? Okay? Now, in the 1611, I believe, it says uh, that Timothy wrote the book of Hebrews. Some people believe it's Paul. We believe it's the word of God. Right? We believe that it is the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. It was written to further explain.